Hey everyone, welcome to the video. This video is just to complement our Shopify pages article where we basically uh, provided all the information you need to know about the stock Shopify page templates that come with each theme. So basically um, what we've gone through in the article is that you have themes that you can apply to your store and within each theme are these stock pages such as the home page, collection pages, product pages, blog, everything like this. Um, but the limitation is that uh, in themes, in the theme editor, as Shopify calls it, the home page is really the only page that you can have any kind of flexibility or, or get creative with designing it. Uh, so I'll show you, I'll quickly demonstrate that. I'll show you too, it's, it's in the article, but just so you know how to access themes and pages. I'm at my Shopify admin right now. And when I go to online store, Pages is where I'll see the pages that I currently have. As you can see, some are hidden, some are active. I can add a page here. But what I'm focused on right now is themes. So right now I have the Brooklyn theme, which is a free Shopify theme. I have some others that I could apply, but for now this is the one that has the most design done on it. And then I'm going to hit Customize. So as you can see, we're automatically on the home page anytime we enter the theme editor. And you can see I have all these sections, which is okay, right? I mean, I can add video, uh, featured collection, things like this. Let's see the options for adding sections. I can add blog posts, collections, images, uh, reviews. So it's pretty good for the, the home page, right? I can get quite flexible. I mean, this has been built with just the just the Brooklyn theme and it's got, it looks great. It's got nice information on it. But if I switch to a different page, if I go to a product page, uh Oh, what happened? Right? This is all I have. All I can do. All I have is a header, which is up here, footer down here and the product here. So, these are all the options I have <clears throat> for the entire product page uh, for the native Brooklyn theme. I have looks reviews installed. That's why you see this, but I have no way to adjust that from here. Okay. So really limited. This is what I want to stress. So if we take a look at this product page, I can't add anything or, or do anything else on this page because it's just what you see is what you get with these themes. Okay. But when using PageFly, uh, also addressed in the article, this is an application that uh, allows you to build pages using a lot of different elements, Shopify elements. These work with the real products in your Shopify admin. And basically, so this is a product page that was built with PageFly. So this um, placeholder right here is essentially what you would see here. Okay. But PageFly has allowed me to add a promotion, video, buy now button, uh, sizing chart, link to about us, show off the product more, uh, cross sell, email sign up, right? I've, I've, and I can go on even further than that. I can add anything I'd like around this Shopify product. So it just shows you um, the restrictions in the Shopify themes. Like I said, the home pages are great. Uh, each theme has its own um, benefits in how you can customize the home page. But at the end of the day, it is still limited. And especially all the other pages, very little you can do as far as customization. Uh, we can take a quick look at this page. I don't think it's the same pro product, but uh, you'll get the gist of it. As you can see, same layout as this product here. We have the title, the price, the size, images, da 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 da, right? but I have all this other information, right? I've added all this using PageFly. If we go ahead and preview um, this one, sorry, let me move this. If we view the Brooklyn theme by itself, I'm gonna go to uh, the product page. See, these have, these have been, these collection pages have been built with PageFly, not with Shopify. That's why you can add the video and everything like that. So this is the product page from Shopify. 
Like that's really all you can see. Little bit of information. Looks like there is a sizing chart, but it's a little bit wonky versus all of this great information, right? So I just, so I hope this video has kind of reiterated um, the need for being able to customize your store further. And the fact that unfortunately at this point, the Shopify themes just don't deliver the capability to do that. So check out PageFly for sure. Um, if you want to learn how to use PageFly, we have a Udemy course that basically teaches you how to build every type of page. We take a well-known brand and we recreate a page by them using PageFly as closely as, as humanly possible. But definitely check that out. It's a free course. And thanks for watching. Uh, if you're new to Shopify, good luck. And I hope this information is valuable to you. Okay. Take care. Thanks a lot.